Hey everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of filters sent over to me for review by Askar very kindly. So these are their new 3 nanometer SHO filters. They sent them in the 2 inch variety, which made them a little bit of a pain in the backside to test. I'm going to be quite honest with you, I had to move over to using a filter drawer to test these. And then, as I'm going to explain in a moment, I moved back to a filter wheel system to make a direct comparison for you guys and effectively i'm very happy to say that they look like they're working wonderfully they're like a good set of filters but what use is me just saying that without trying to actually evidence how i feel about these with you guys so what i've done just to that end exactly is set up a side-by-side -side test all taken on the same night so there's a couple of hours separating some of these subs in some cases but this was a well elevated target so i don't think it's going to matter too much now what we're looking at i'm going to talk you through what's on the screen right now along the top row going from left to right we have the Ascar three nanometer h o and s filters and along the bottom, we have our, our very own filters that we use for our projects, the Astronomic 6 nanometer hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Now, for this might be an interesting test to do because these are known good filters, they're well respected uh, as far as brands go. Whereas the new Ascars are relatively untested, aside from people doing this kind of thing like I'm doing right now. I think it's obvious to state as we go into this, uh, there is some amp glow and things visible on these frames and that's because i left them as completely uncalibrated as possible there's nothing been done to these no darks no flats no bias nothing these are just single five minute exposures tested uh stretched out with stf in all cases i've recorded a bunch of data as i said which i'm going to share with you about these as well where i uh, recorded some information from the fits header such as focus positions to test par focality and also full width half max eccentricity um we're mainly just focusing on the full width half max of these tests now i realize that's quite a lengthy introduction but there was a lot to get off my chest about these uh, and get you up to speed with this test so as we're looking at them right now obviously the ha is definitely a little bit more plentiful over on that three nanometer filter up in the top left the oxygen is markedly better. So it's clear to see that there's maybe two, two and a half, perhaps even three times as much signal in the core of that monkey head shot right there. Um, it's crazy just how much extra grasp those tighter filters give you over even a six nanometer filter. I uh, hope that's coming across for you guys properly on YouTube. We'll take a closer look in a moment. Over on the Sulf 2 side of things, the difference is still there, maybe a little bit less pronounced, but it's still clearly a difference going from six nanometers to three nanometers. Now, if you take a little bit of a closer look in towards some detailed portions on this HA, so we're gonna take a look at the HA three nanometer versus the six nanometer right there. Now, these aren't registered to one another, so there will be slight misalignments, but I'm doing my best for you guys. Um, hopefully you can see that these stars look pretty much equally tight in all cases. So that bodes well for the Ascars. Uh, there's certainly no blurring been introduced or anything like that due to bad filter glass. I don't think that that sort of thing would affect filters of this caliber anyway. I think these are about 400 pounds or dollars or so each. So they're certainly not the cheapest filters on the market. But it looks like you are getting what you pay for, which is always a good thing to see. Now, there's a contrast difference that's visible on these three nanometers, as you would expect. It looks uh, certainly more detached from the background, does the incoming HA data. And if I just copy this across to a slightly wispier area, you can see the extensions in the HA data continue on a little bit further than they do on the six nanometer HA. So, uh, there's the HA data, a little bit of it anyway. Uh, we're now going to take a look at this oxygen tree. As I've said, on the overview, it's plain to see there's a gradient, perhaps a small gradient going from bottom to top that's not visible on the three nanometer filters. So that's already gotten rid of perhaps some moonlight gradient. And if I zoom in just a little bit to a one to two view right here, it should be plain to see for anybody uh, with eyes to look at the screen that there is one winner in this and that is the three nanometer filter by a mile It's clearly far better separated from the background noise 
In fact, you can even make out some of this faint structure detail in a single five minute sub on this three nanometer filler. It's quite something to see. I only wish Ascar would have sent me 1.25 inch versions of these filters because I would have bought them to keep for myself. Um, as it is, I'm going to be sending on these two inch filters to another YouTuber, which uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, so I'll just err on the side of uh, caution and I'm sure you'll see them pop up soon. But I think they will be very happy to test these things out too. Um, but yeah, clearly, uh, there's even little wisps of detail just up here which are visible on the 3 nanometer filter and are not yet resolved from the background of the 6 nanometer filter. So this is kind of a reasonable test and you know if I was in the market for narrower filters I would have bought these. I, I definitely would. Now in terms of halo performance and things like that there was none visible that I saw but my testing admittedly was kind of limited uh, due to the amount of bad guys that we've been having recently so I did my absolute best with the time that I had and uh, I'll just zoom in now on this sulfur we'll go ahead and make another quick comparison for you guys so we're seeing the same thing again really clearly at least to me I hope this is coming across for you guys on the screen it looks like a 10 minute sub versus a 5 minute sub or something like that there is more to see on that 3 nanometer shot in the top in all cases the stars on these both of these filters look wonderful really and I'm sure that they're going to give just wonderful clean results in any case um, as I've said it's always a little bit of a worry when a new filter emerges on the market you don't know how it's going to perform with regards to sharpness and filters but I have to say on a very well color corrected telescope admittedly the uh, Esprit 120 these look like they perform wonderfully well now I mentioned that I'd recorded some extra data to share with you guys and that's what we're looking at right now. So the top set of data here is talking about the ASCAR 3 nanometer filters. The bottom is the 6 nanometer astronomics. So what I decided to record was the mean ADUs, that's the amount of background brightness in terms of ADU, analog to digital units, in each case. So the HA recorded a mean ADU of about 830. The 6 nanometer HA recorded a mean ADU of about 1056, so a good chunk brighter. Higher numbers indicate a brighter background, if you will. The oxygen 3 is where the big difference pops in. So the, on the 3 nanometer oxygen 3, we're looking at a mean ADU of 924, whereas on the 6 nanometer filter, 1585. Pretty big. We're closing in on what is that about 1.7 1.8 times as bright massive uh the sulfur 2 still pronounced 797 for the 3 nanometer up to 993 just shy of a thousand on that 6 nanometer filter so as we've already observed clearly 3 nanometer filters quality 3 nanometer filters like these really do dim the background of your uh, images allowing this signal to come to the forefront that much easier as the background is suppressed so much now i also recorded as you can see full width half max i measured these just using if i pop back over to pix insight one moment the scripts image analysis and full width half max eccentricity I just ran that on each one of these these aren't cherry picked subs all i was looking for was just round exposures round stars should i say uh so by no means have i been fooling around looking for the best subs i'd never do anything like that um so in each case you can see a three just over full width half max on the ha versus just above 3.156 on the six nanometers so you would expect to see slightly tighter stars on a three nanometer filter and that's what we're seeing in the oxygen three case 2.679 on three nanometers versus 2.665 so very comparable tightness on the oxygen 3 uh, you may have expected to see that being slightly lower but who knows the reasons as to why I'm certainly not privy to them um, and in terms of sulfur 2 we're looking at 3.303 full width half max versus 3.036 so actually slightly tighter stars on that 6 nanometer s2 shot interesting to note but visually that kind of difference is 
very hard to pick up, I'd say, if I just uh, try and make a little comparison for you side by side here. Hopefully uh, these are visible for you on the screen. I think you'd be hard pressed really to pick up a tightness difference in terms of those star profiles just looking visually at these. So uh, who knows? Who knows? It's certainly nothing that would be keeping me awake at night anyway. Um, now back to one more thing that I did record. I want to try and track the par focality of these filters in relation to one another. So I noted foc focus of positions basically. You can do that just looking at the fits headers. So as you can see the HA 3 nanometer focused at 6286. If you want to find this and test your own filters for par focality on your particular rig, uh, you can just check out the fits header if it's recorded. So you'd go file fits header and scroll right down. As you can see, 6282 in this frames case. Um, 6282 anyway, that's what we're going to call the home position focused on HA. Now, oxygen three was minus 46 steps from this. It focused at 6236. Sulfur two focused minus 12 steps from HA at 6270. Now, that's a total range in terms of difference from HA being focused to the worst uh, filter, if you like, the biggest focus jump being the Oxygen 3 of 46 total. So uh, not very big at all. Now, as you'll notice, I've made a little note right here. The base focus position is different due to rotator thread travel. So I actually physically pushed the entire uh, camera and flattener and everything back slightly or perhaps even forward. I can't remember which way it was. That's why there's a slight difference in these focus positions. In any case, though, the back focus remains the same because the flattener and the camera all move together as a unit. It's just a focus of travel that changes. So what did we record here? Uh, 5695, 5639, 5700. So a total of, yeah, we're going to have to go from this auction to this sulfur of 61 steps of difference. So arguably the Ascars are a little bit more par focalized even. Um, now I realize the best way to test these would have been on a pure reflector system um, but I don't have one to test on so <laughs> instead I had to do it on a, a premium Apo refractor and uh, you know I have to say I've been impressed with the results. Now I do have as I showed you perhaps at the start a little set of data here. This only adds up to four hours between these three channels I'm going to edit that after I've just finished recording this video and share it with you as a finished image and hope that you uh, enjoy seeing that. But I just thought that this might be a worthwhile comparison for anybody interested in upgrading their filters. So uh, with that said, guys, that's about all that I've got for you today. I feel like I can recommend these filters to anybody looking to upgrade. Uh, so yeah, that's about everything I've got about these. So thanks very much to everybody for watching. Thanks so much to everybody for giving your support. As always, it really means the world to me. And uh, I'm just thankful to each and every one of you out there. So until the next time, guys, look after yourselves and clear skies.